two sets of um, criticisms that came after the qualifiers. One, which was going on for a long time and I think probably got under your skin, but I'm assuming that is the Rani Rampal issue, number one. Number two, that for a lot of fans, and I used to read a lot of blogs and here mm. and there, that you didn't have a plan B during the qualifiers. Now, for, for, for journalists, for fans to say there was no plan B is slightly easier because we don't know what's happening inside. We don't even know what's happening inside you for that mm. matter. But to the first one and the second one, if you could reply, why is Rani Rampal still an issue? I think because she, she's still an issue because she has a lot of influence and she, I think, played uh, an immense part in India, in women's hockey and development of it, and I always will agree with that. And the fact of the matter is, after Tokyo, I already told her, I think, it's time. She was in, but then she told me she was injured, and she played Tokyo injured, which she then didn't tell our staff or me or short, anyways. So then I gave her a lot of time to recover, and then it was always the case I never gave her an opportunity to play. But the fact of the matter is, she was injured, and she was injured for a long time. So I can only play her one game because the medical staff says she cannot play back to back in pro league, and. At that point, we were playing Belgium, and she played the first game against Belgium, and I made a decision with my staff. I don't think she's good enough to play the World Cup and to come off course. And that was a message she didn't want to hear, and she didn't agree, and that's her prerogative because she's a player and she can agree or disagree um, with that. But I supported her recovery, I supported her rehab, I even allowed her to be not inside campus and to not be with the team because she couldn't deal with all those things which is a huge thing for me because if you're a team player you kind of need to be there so then yeah she was fit to be fair after that she was fit she stayed fit and I just didn't think she's good enough and I know that's not what people want to hear she can't run and when we have the ball it becomes sort of interesting but I took her to South Africa and I know that was a tour that to be honest I had to fight with the selectors to take her and that is also what no one believes but I said, look, let's give her one last opportunity. I want to give her one last opportunity. We play the best team in the world and we're playing South Africa. Let's see where she's at. Uh, and I did. And I did uh, my own statistical analysis. So I literally went through all the games and looked at her on the ball movement, her off the ball movement, her impact specifically in the Netherlands games because I thought that would value be valuable for me because that is where I want our team to go I you know and even yeah and to be fair she was the least of our forwards so I can tell you anything else or just that and that was a statistical thing that I did myself and I can back it up with numbers and um, then I thought it was time you know I know she would never accept it at that point. And I, you know, we had an, another round of selections coming up and then I had to make the very tough decision to not select her in the core group. And of course, you, you can say she's good enough to be in the core group. You know, that is not the issue here. But if for me, a player with her stature, I am not gonna pick in a foreseeable future in the 18 because there's better strikers out there that can run more, that is required in the current international game, then I have the obligation, I think, as a coach to make a tough decision, and I did, and I know she didn't agree, and I know she still wants back, and look, as, and she knows as long as I'll be here, she probably won't be, and maybe if the selectors say yes, then maybe yes, but at that point it wasn't my decision, it was a selection commission decision which involved four people five people and I feel bad for her because I don't think she deserves this and 
at the other hand, I'm like, you had the opportunity to bow out in your own ways as well, and you chose not to, and that's not my fault. That's not my fault. I gave you every opportunity to do it in a way you want. I think she can be a tremendous coach, and she doesn't want to be. That is fine. She wants to play, and that's also fine, but I don't believe that that is... That is, for me as a coach, that, that she brings something to the team that I think the team needs.